Now we're going to give you a real fun treat. We're going to double up on a recipe because we always promote, among all our great viewers, Canadian viewers. And I'm glad you're watching right now because we have a very, very special recipe coming from Surrey, B.C. It's a butternut squash soup and double cheese baking so powder crazy. biscuit recipe. Arlene Nolan is with us from Surrey, B.C., 30 years retired from B.C. Transit. And uh, you've got a spread here going. And I, I think we're going to start doing the biscuits first, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. So how should we get started? And welcome. Are you ready to do it? Nice I and fun? think so. Okay. <laughs> I love I have, biscuit. I have some flour, uh, baking powder, and salt in here. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And then you just rub in the butter. Okay. And I see you cut that into small cut, bits. Cut it into small bits, yes. Makes it easier to get it into the flour. And this is where you add the love. This is yes. the love that this goes is, into the biscuits. And if you don't is, do this right, they don't come out right. Absolutely. You have to just get your hands dirty. Yeah, you do. You have to feel it. This so is why you're going to want to get the DVD, so that you can see how this all goes together. So were you, were you driving buses, transportation with BC? No, I was doing? in the office uh, telling the drivers where to go and how to get there. Right on. 30 years. Good for you. Yes, indeed. And if they didn't do it right, then I was able to play with their payroll. <laughs> <laughs> so they were always good to me. See, this is what I love about cooking when you're doing things like this. The stories we always get to hear yes. <laughs> among our viewers. Okay. Then we okay, add the so cheese. Cheese, which this is a nice cheddar, right? Yes, it's uh, old cheddar. Okay, I obviously don't Sorry. know how to do this. There we are. There we are. Cool. We've grated some cheddar cheese. Send this and to the side. Mm -hmm. So you can do this with I, other kinds of cheese too, if you have you another can, favorite. Any, if you, whatever your favorite cheese is. Biscuits and cheese. Absolutely. And I was about to say this isn't going to get any better, except I see some other ingredients lined up here. Uh huh. Okay. So we have cream. Some cream. Is next. The whole thing about the the, the sides for this KCTS nine cooks was, you know, the simple recipes. We can all do this. It's oh, in the cookbook. Anybody, anybody could do this one. Mm -hmm. This was doesn't take a rocket scientist to make this one. Well, and the love that goes into it, like yeah. Carol was saying, it just prepackaged. I know we do it often with the biscuits, but something about right oh, homemade and the bowl. Homemade bowls. biscuits. Mm. You can't beat it. You can't. So now it's starting to come together and looking like dough. Yeah. All you want to do is get that milk mixed into the flour. Mm -hmm. Okay. Where you're going to and get your hands dirty next? again. Then we're going to. All right, now we're going to form it into a ball, right? Yeah. Bring it all together. This is called take up. <laughs> and you may wonder. Then, then you can tell the right things. We're making these biscuits here with Arlene. <laughs> of course, she washed her hands, or some people use gloves, but for TV purposes and for better showing. She's just getting right in there with those hands. Now I need the flour on the board. Okay, Oops. I can do that. You ready? Hi. Yep. There you go. And just, ah, beautiful. Is there any risk of overdoing the dough? I don't think so. Okay. I don't think so. I've never done it yet. Okay. And I just play with it. Because I always think I play with it too much and will that affect the no. final outcome of it? I, I don't find it does, but okay. you're not playing with it very much anyways. Okay. And then just roll out the dough. You want an oblong about, um, about a quarter of an inch thick. Mm -hmm. Ooh, ah, these are going to be so We're, we're going to be making a lot there. of biscuits. That one. Now, um, cream cheese. Cream cheese. Is this a this cream is, cheese? This, this is a herb. Herbs? This is herb and garlic cream cheese. Oh wow! So you just want to spread that around. Yum. How did you find this recipe? And I made it up myself. Very nice. <laughs> Um, what our viewers are cooking up these days. Where else but here? And then we get spread, it with, spread it with and bacon. And bacon! <laughs> <laughs> I know, it's every, everybody hates bacon, right? Right, right. <laughs> I have people request bacon classes. Can yes. we make I, something? I yes. Can, well, bacon with chocolate is yummy. Bacon, yes. Sometimes, but it has to be good bacon. 
Well, this Beautiful. is applewood. So then just roll it up, jelly roll style. Mm -hmm. Oops. These are then be push so the ends hard. down so that it's nice and flat. Yeah, we are going to have a lot of biscuits. Yeah, I just, you yeah. Know, the, the crew suddenly got quiet. We <laughs> went excited, like, oh, finally, we got something we all can have a piece of. They're drooling behind the cameras. And then <laughs> precise cuts, two fingers. Two fingers. Two, two fingers. fingers. Okay, two fingers. Two fingers. That's how I measure. Mm -hmm. But no fingers in the biscuits. Just no. <laughs> and sometimes you'll find there it gets it uh, a little bit sticking on the knife, so mm -hmm. just put a little bit of flour mm -hmm. on. Arlene, is okay, there going to so be then... much of a rise when these are baking? I mean, two inches, uh, not a no, biscuit. No, not, not or two th th fingers. <laughs> two inches. So we're going to need to have everything off that tray except the parchment, because these are going to yeah. go right on their very yeah. next thing. There. Okay. Uh, I'll put it right on there, and I'm going to squish it down. Oh, you're going to squish it down? Yep. And they're not touching each other? No, no, okay. you want to give them a little bit room to expand. Okay. Thank you, Carol. I'm visualizing it uh, like a cinnamon-sized Almost. Roll. Mm -hmm. Yes. This is done yes. in a biscuit here. Yes. Okay. There we go. I got two, two over. And, and then they go in a 450 degree oven for there. about okay. 25 minutes or okay. until they're brown. And there they go. What are we going to have on the side of these biscuits? You're going to have some butternut squash soup. Okay. So can I just move this to the side? Yes. Okay. We'll get you a new board right here. How about that? Thank you. You're getting the attention of my niece, Caitlin, because right, we said so butternut, what's, what's our first butternut thing? squash. First thing I'm going to put <laughs> I'm just in. looking for something new with butternut squash. Okay. Rather than just celery squash as a side. Celery? Do we need any um, fat in this pan? A little bit, but I forgot to bring it. Okay. <laughs> we'll pretend that there's pretend fat it in there. there. Okay. Pretend it's in there. A little butter carrots. or olive oil or something like okay, that. Uh, a little bit of uh, um, canola oil or anything okay. anything like that. Whatever you like to use. Whatever you like. Yes. Squash. Okay. What else are we going for? And carrots. Or, sorry, potatoes. Mm-hmm. Mm, yellow potatoes. And apple. Ah, garlic, for a little sweetness. Garlic. You know, garlic. when I saw that bowl over there, immediately flashed into my mind, that's melon. She's putting melon in the soup. How silly mm -hmm. is that? You guys are fast. I, did we put squash in there? Uh-huh. Okay. Yes. See? Um, Not that I'm watching for the squash. I don't use <laughs> onions because I have trouble with onions, but I mm -hmm. use onion salt. Onion salt. Or onion powder would work Onion too, powder, right? onion salt, either one. There's a little bit of salt and pepper. salt and pepper. Okay. Um, that's for the garnish. And cumin. Boy, we're just throwing Ooh. everything in there right now. Just throw everything in. Okay. And then stop. And these bay leaves? Do these need to go in? The bay leaves have to go in. Thank you. You like that. Okay. And okay, so we're going to give this a nice stir here. Mm -hmm. And you're going to cook these until... Until the vegetables are done. Okay, and but before you put, the stock in. you put cook these till the vegetables are done and then put the stock in? Well, you can put the stock in now if you want. Oh, okay. So it's just I kind just of put, a... I put a little bit of oil Whenever down Whenever you the want bottom. to put in, go for it. Yes, okay. I, put in, I put in the oil in the bottom just so it doesn't stick in there. And how do we know when those are all done? Are just all soft? When Test them with a fork. Through. Okay. The old fork test? Okay. It takes about maybe half an hour. Mm -hmm. Okay. And they're going to cook down. That'll cook down and then... Um, this is one of the butternut squashes, mm -hmm. and all you do is peel it, and down at the bulb here is where you have the seeds, so pull the seeds out. Just like in a pumpkin. Just like a pumpkin. Just in the bottom And if you it. don't have squash, you can use pumpkin or anything in there. That would be great. Okay, so once this is cooked, obviously we're not going to spend the whole 20 minutes or so cooking this, mm -hmm. then mm -hmm. what happens next? Um, once that's all done, then I get my blender. Sorry. Use my blender. Okay. And a stick blender. Stick blender. 
There we go. So here's our finished soup. That was okay. TV magic, people. Wow, look at that. And then you just put the blender in there, and then you... Thank you. <laughs> Teamwork. Then, We're the family today. Yes, here, yes. And then make sure you uh, get all the um, vegetables smooth. Okay. Wow. And I'll get you to hold that for me for a minute. This is a hearty soup. And Remember everything that went into that. I know. Then oh, I use fresh nutmeg. Fresh nutmeg. There because is I, nothing anything like with, it. Anything with apples, mm -hmm. I use uh, nutmeg. I'm just a nutmeg fanatic. I don't use cinnamon because I have trouble with it. But nutmeg I love. Nutmeg is lovely. And what's the mm -hmm. origin of this recipe, Arlene? Where do we find this one? Me. <laughs> Me again? <laughs> Me again. <gasps> nice. Are you a big fan of squash? Nice. I, I, will, nice. I will take care of that. Arlene, do you love a, a lot of squash? I love squash. You do? I love squash. Okay, so I'm getting I, the idea you can play with it, create thank it. Thank you. And yes. have fun with it. Yes. And there get one look me excited go. about it. And then, <laughs> you want both of these? Yes. And then I squeeze lemon into here. Oops. Wow, there's just a lot of kick going into this soup. This is great. <laughs> and then you can stir it up. Oops. I'm going to get the lemon seeds out first. Uh, <laughs> you want to grow your own lemon. Here we go. <laughs> and then just blend it all together. Okay. That's it. And then a bowl. Mm -hmm. There you go. These are your tasting bowls. And there's the finished bowl. All right, That's the so let's just see how this is all going to go together. See, now we've got two and sides going here. Cream. This is a two for side. Oh, there's well, a two sides to make a meal. Mm -hmm. That's supposed to be there. Some beautiful soup there. That's a real hearty soup. That's real Let's thick. see if our biscuits and are done. A dollop of sour cream. And Arlene, how's that look to you? Right consistency, too thick? Not yeah, no, I, I like I like it thick. Uh huh. Um, I'm not used to like if you want to thin it down, put some cream in it. A little cream. Yep. Or put some more uh, stock in it. Okay. Vegetable stock works great. And then I serve it with uh, a biscuit. Look at those biscuits. Yeah, double Enjoy. cheese baking powder biscuits. Did I see some green stuff over there? Yes. Do we like to have earrings? You want earrings on it? Absolutely. <laughs> Few, few fresh chives. There we go. Let's show our viewers what this is all about. Look at that. Talk about a real ta da from Surrey, BC. Okay, Mark, you ready to taste this? All right, so I'm going from the, the pot. Okay, the two little bowls. Oh, my there. little bowls. Little bowl here. <laughs> there you go, my friend. There you go. And one for you. One for me. I get my own bowl. Sour cream and sour cream. chives. All right. Yeah, and are you ready for a cream. biscuit? Like she said, we're going to have a sour cream. Give yourself some sour cream. <laughs> Got the biscuit here, little chives. All right, trust me, my friend. There you go. Thank you, sir. <laughs> and the biscuit. Okay, so here we go. Here we go. It's a nice cold day. Family's all together talking. Mm. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Mm -mm -mm. I can't believe everything that's in mm. there. You can taste all and those yummy vegetables that, that you just, put in there. Just, whatever, you the biscuit just with. whatever you have in your fridge. Uh, if you got wow. leftover potatoes. Or can I come to your house? Absolutely. Mm. Often? Absolutely. Mm. You just whip this up, a side dish. I love this. They, just, they go together so quickly and so fast. That was a fun recipe. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Arlene Nolan from Surrey, BC, for coming Thank down. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. Showing us that just everybody loves to cook and have fun. There are no borders in cooking or in public television. The cookbook, the DVD. That's what it's all about here at KCTS 9 Cooks on the side. Give us a call at 1-800-443-1999. More great fun on the way. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs>